Welcome to On The Market by Bigger Pockets, sponsored by Fundrise. I'm Jamil Damji, and today we are gonna explore one of the hottest markets in the United States for real estate, as well as chicken wings. Boise, Idaho. Who to thunk it? Guess what? It's not sunny, but it's hot. Let's go! So what are we doing in Boise? How is it the hottest market or one of the hottest markets for real estate in the US? Well, first, people are moving here, guys. 2.9% population growth. That is insane. That's the fastest population growth, the most population growth in the entire country. Think about that. On top of that, we had 19% appreciation in the real estate market year over year. On top of that, we had another 20% rent growth. On top of that, we have a tech industry that's blossoming. They're calling it a mini Silicon Valley. Meta is here. Amazon here with their distribution hubs. We've got Micron. It is incredible and insane how many big companies are coming to Boise, Idaho. This has this feel of a small American town. So all these big hustle and bustle cities like LA, people are leaving, coming to Boise because they can get a lot of land, they can get a beautiful home, and they can pay barely nothing for it. I connected with a local real estate agent. Her name is Rachel Reidenhauser, and she's actually standing over there in the rain. Let's go get her out of the rain and find out more about why Boise's so coisy. We've got local market expert Rachel Rudishauser over here. How are you doing, Rachel? I'm doing well. How are you? Thanks for hanging out with me in the back of a Suburban. You're welcome. <laughs> so first and foremost, what's with the weather? We here in Boise want to apologize because normally <laughs> we have over 300 days of or sunshine, excuse me, every day. And today it just decided to show you the rain. It just decided <laughs> to rain. So, so typically it is sunny in Boise. Yes. And today it's not. But you know what? We're coming from Arizona and it's 100 degrees over there, so I'm actually super happy to be in a cool, wet town today. So, Boise is on fire. Actually, it's Boise. Boise is on fire. Boise. Let's talk a little bit about the debate between Boise and Boise. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we have had a lot of new people moving to the area, as you know. Where are they coming from? Mainly California, but we've had people from all over. People want to live in Idaho and it's a great place to live. But when you move to a new place, sometimes you have to learn how we do things around here. Yes. And so Boise is how you pronounce it. A lot of people will just go straight to Boise and you'll hear some people complaining. I got it. Okay, so the Californians are calling it Boise, but it's Boise and there's a lot of amazing opportunity here. I've been doing some research and I noticed that first and foremost, your population growth, 2.9%, it's the fastest in the entire country. How has that been to live in a city where you get that explosive growth? Was this something that you saw pre-pandemic or was this like post-pandemic domino effect? No, this is definitely pre-pandemic, excuse me. And we have been seeing it probably for the last 10 years or so. Wow. Um, I personally moved here in 2016 and even then it was a really hot place to move. You know, housing inventory was still low then and we're still seeing that here today. Right, so it's, got a lot of attraction. People are coming here from California and other spots. What do you think is attracting them here? Is it just the, is it the jobs? Is it the weather? Is it the ice cream? Uh, is it the French fries? What you do know, you think? Definitely potatoes are a good one here, uh, but we definitely will see a lot of people coming here because they want that American dream. They want to be able to afford where they live. Right. They want to have the space to spread out a little bit. Um, we definitely have an all-around seasonal weather. You can see snow, you can see rain, you can see sun. Um, people like to see that all-weather systems that we have here. We also have a very tight-knit community. It's a great place to raise a family. I think Meridian, Idaho was voted number one place for families multiple years in a row. Cool. And we see a lot of families coming here to support their kids. So you mentioned Meridian, Idaho. Tell me a little bit about Greater Boise. Uh, what are the different cities? Yeah, so Boise is kind of nestled right in the foothills of the mountains. Uh, if you expand to the west, you're going to run into Meridian, Nampa, Caldwell. To the south, we have Cuna, and to the north, we have Eagle and Garden City. Uh, that really makes up our greater Boise metro area, and we see growth everywhere. People just want to be in this area. Is it 
fair to say that the tech companies and the, the different industry that's moving here, are they distributing themselves in different parts of Boise or are they concentrating in like specific areas? Yeah, so Micron, which has been here for quite a long time, I can't remember exactly how long, but... They, they make microchips, right? They make microchips, yeah. yeah. And they've been out there in Southeast Boise for a long time. That's a big in, big draw here. Uh, T-Sheets, or once was T-Sheets, and now is owned by Intuit. They're up in Eagle. Uh, the new Meta Center is going down in Kuna. Um, Amazon Distribution is over in Nampa. So really, we are spread out all around the Treasure Valley. Incredible. Wow, that's just like insane to me. The pricing now, you've got you know near 19% appreciation over the last year. I'm sure the locals here have some opinions about that. Um, but that's happening all across the United States. It's not just you know specifically to Boise. In fact, you have Austin having near 40% appreciation. I mean, that's just out of this world, Phoenix 30%, uh, but Boise, you know, 20%, I'd say it's just smack dab in the middle. That's quite a bit, but where have you seen the median high house price move from? Well, about two years ago, pre-pandemic, we were right in the $300,000 range of, on an average, and now we're up in the 500000 And I think that's scary for a lot of locals because our income has not caught up, right. right? And so if you have been here for a really long time and maybe been in the same job where you're not growing as quickly as the area, you now can't really afford a home. And that's where we see a lot of locals getting a little nervous because those lower price points, you can't find them in Boise or in Meridian. You really have to start branching out to find those lower price points. And I think they want to stay in their hometown. $500,000 median price point. I mean, for the cities like Los Angeles or Chicago where price prices were much higher where they can sell and, and, and move to Boise and take advantage of a half a million dollar home. I mean, that's still relatively inexpensive for those more expensive markets. Are you finding that the migration or the people that are coming in and buying, are they mainly coming in with cash or are these finance buyers? I would say we see a mix of both. Um, I think during the pandemic, we saw a lot more cash buyers winning out. Now we're starting to see some more finance, but they're still bringing in those big down payments that can give them the wiggle room they need to get a home. Great. So we've had some incredible movement in the market. It's, you know, the appreciation has been, has been insane. Um, what do you think is the most appealing out of the out of the different suburbs and the different cities that you that you talked about, what would you say is the most appealing part of Boise? Because I want to I want to check it out. Yeah, I would say the most appealing point is our Boise foothills. It is amazing to be able to go outside your home and find a trail. A lot of our neighborhoods are connected to trails in the foot home foothills, and you can just go into nature within seconds. Would you say that? you are attracting a lot of people that do like outdoor sports and, and having that balance in, in life and lifestyle? Yes, I would say a lot of people who are trying to come here like the idea of being so close to anything outdoor recreation wise. Mm. Uh, we are super close to McCall, Idaho, um, up in the Cascade area. It's about a couple hours north of here and people will go up there for skiing, um, we have lots of lakes to go boating. We have lots of rivers. The Boise River goes straight through downtown um, where you can go floating. You also can go along the Boise Green Belt, which connects Boise to the other cities. It goes all the way out into Star, um, which is about 30 minutes away from Boise. Wow. And do you see a lot of people commuting from those smaller markets into Boise because it's a little bit more expensive in Boise right now? Yeah, we have been seeing a lot more commuters. I think when you talk about people from a bigger city, when it took you 30 minutes to an hour just to go a few miles, you know, you don't mind going 15 miles in 30 minutes. Right. Um, so it comes with perspective on what people want their lifestyle to be like. How busy have you gotten in the last two years? Me personally? Yes. I, I started literally March 2020. Wow. Yes. So you so. you started your career in real estate right when the pandemic hit. Yes. Were you scared? I was absolutely scared. <laughs> and, and how has it been? And it's been good. I have learned a lot. I've learned that real estate is always changing, pandemic or not, and you really have to go with the punches. Just keep communicating with people and seeing what you can do to help your community, and it's been amazing. So at Keegley, we've been doing some deals with you, so we appreciate the business, Rachel. We are also heading to have 
the best chicken wings in Boise, Idaho. Now, I know it's a little interesting to have a real estate show on chicken wings, but it's me, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, tell me your favorite wing spot in town. Ooh, okay. Are you vegan? No, I'm not. Okay, no, good. No, I'm not. I will eat a good chicken wing. I, <laughs> I will say, I know this sounds kind of funny, but there's a place called Wingstop. Oh my gosh! You said it's basically McDonald's for chicken wings. It is, but okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna veto that, guys. We're gonna have a better place, Rachel. I'm Who disappointed. Who do I have to say? I'm disappointed, but um, I was gonna I'm... say that's the only wing place I've been to here. <laughs> uh, incredible! This has been really informative. Yeah. Super happy that you took some time out of your day to come and hang out with us. Talk to us about Boise Real Estate. Is there anything else that you want to tell the bigger pockets? audience about Boise and why this is a great place to invest. I think that Boise as a community is just a great place to understand community in itself. And when people are tight knit and want to work together, you want to live here. One of our slogans is keep Boise kind. And Aww. that is just something that I love. Rachel, you're super kind. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. After having an opportunity to interview Rachel, I have a great insight as to what's been happening in Boise. She talked about how the locals here are getting super nervous about all of the migration here. And that makes sense, right? When you've got a population density of under 500,000 for the greater area, that's not a lot of people. And they will feel a migration of 2.9% growth year over year. That's a lot of growth in one year. So, you know, makes sense that it's happening but guys this is happening all across the united states and look at how cute the houses are here i mean this makes sense right you get these beautiful homes the construction here is so unique it's not like anything you see in these suburban towns with these stucco houses with tile roofs where there's only four different models of a specific you know type of home in a subdivision i mean you get these old churches you've got these old homes this is a great town to live in i mean if i was raising a small family and i wanted to get away from the hustle and bustle of a big city which i don't but if i was wanting to do that boise idaho might be one of those spots that i'd actually move to so what would i do if i was looking for my first investment property or an investment property to buy in Boise, Idaho. Well, what I'd want to do is connect with a local realtor here like Rachel, maybe get a hold of her or find somebody from Bigger Pockets Agent Finder. It's a great resource for you to get out there and connect with somebody. They can tell you exactly what listings they might have coming up. And remember guys, when we're buying investment properties, we're looking for stuff that has an opportunity for potential, right? Whether that means you're adding value to the property by renovating it, you're forcing appreciation by renovating it, or um, you're also looking for stuff that has development opportunity. Your m local market experts like real estate agents, they're gonna be the ones that you wanna actually connect with, collaborate with, and do business with because they're gonna have their hands on the pulse of where all the good stuff are, all the good sellers are, all of the great movers and shakers that have this kind of inventory. There's an inventory crunch, guys, but not if you know where to look. Now that we got the lowdown on the real estate market here in Boise, Idaho, we want to find out if this is actually a good place to live. And the only way we know that is by tasting its chicken wings. How hot are the wings here at Barbacoa? I heard that Barbacoa has one of the best chicken wing dishes in the nation. Let's see if that's true. Don't laugh at me for eating a chicken wing with my with a fork. That shit was hot. It burned my mouth. So overall, guys, I'm gonna give this place a 13 out of 15. I think this place was incredible. The food was delicious. The wings, like some of the best I've ever had before. And come on, I'm, we're cooking at them at the table. Like, where are you gonna get better than that? Thanks for joining us for an episode of Hottest Markets and Wings, brought to you by Bigger Pockets and sponsored by Fundrise. I'm Jamil Damji. Welcome to On the Face. Ah, boy. I know. Arrgh.